Just when it seemed that Molly has found a solution for his ex-girlfriend Zara showing up in Summer Bay, the return of Mackenzie throws a further spanner in the works. Zara caused some waves when she turned up unexpectedly a few weeks back and announced that she was Molly's promised wife. Although she was apparently only teasing, it being an ongoing joke in their families that the childhood friends were destined to be together, Zara was secretly hoping that she could win back Molly. The pair had been an item before Zara left their hometown of Manoray Point for law school, and whilst the last thing Molly wanted was for Zara to come and stay with him, particularly since he's now in a relationship with Rose, Kirsty Marillier, he felt he had no option after his mum Vicky, Ursula Jovic, told him to make Zara feel welcome. Needless to say, the situation hasn't impressed Rose either, who has been waiting for Molly to grow a pair and send Zara on her way. A further run-in with Zara last week saw Rose forced to issue an ultimatum to Molly, it's either me or her. Molly finally decided to stand up to Zara and tell her outright that he chooses Rose, and that he would not let her ruin his relationship. It was then that Zara finally admitted her true reason for wanting Molly back. After several years of studying law, she found that the reality didn't stand up to the dream. Six months after graduation she has turned her back on being a lawyer, but is dreading going home and telling her parents. Zara thought that if she returned to Manoray Point with Molly Addo, giving the impression that she had given up her dream career for love, it would somewhat soften the blow. Particularly when it was someone her parents had always hoped she'd end up with. Molly took pity on Zara and told her she could stay for as long as she needs, but appeased Rose by asking if he could move in with her temporarily whilst Zara remained at the farmhouse. Whilst Molly and Rose are enjoying finally having some alone time together this week, Mac arrives home from her trip to see Dean and Ziggy and is surprised to find a complete stranger alone in her kitchen. You scared the life out of me, Zara exclaims, as she turns around to find Mac staring at her in amusement. Who the hell are you? I could ask you the same question, Mac quickly replies. Mac is soon interrupting Molly and Rose's love fest to demand an explanation, reminding him that he can't just invite someone to stay in her house and then leave without running it by her first. Molly tells her the full story and explains that it's complicated, but Mac isn't interested in his excuses as he tries to resist coming back with her. Not my promised wife, not my problem. Mac states. Going back to Zara, Molly admits that it wasn't a great idea leaving her on her own, but with Mac unwilling to let Zara stay without Molly there, he tells Zara that it's time for her to return home. Zara claims that she came to Molly believing that she could trust him to help her but Molly believes she's simply biding time in the hope that he will change his mind about leaving with her. Yet Molly once again gives in when Zara asks for him to give her a couple more weeks so she can work out how to tell her parents. But Mac, quite rightly, refuses to accept Molly's solution of just keeping things the way they are, warning him that must come back to the farmhouse if Zara is staying put. Naturally, rather than standing up to Zara, Molly opts to move back to the farmhouse after all leaving Rose irritated that they're back to where they started following her ultimatum. Surprisingly, she also doesn't go for Molly's idea that she could come to stay with him too. With Molly realizing that his relationship with Rose is now at breaking point, he finally decides that enough is enough and tells Zara that she needs to leave Summer Bay, go back home and tell her parents the truth. Zara accuses Molly of dodging his responsibilities to look out for her, but Molly isn't falling for it. You've been complicating my life because you can't face your own, he points out to her. Finally realizes that she needs to grow up, and agrees to return home to face her folks. Molly offers to go with her, as a friend, but she knows that she needs to do this on her own, 